Hi guys, I'm back. Sorry it's been so long, but you know, sometimes you gotta take a break. But I don't wanna take a break anymore. I wanna be here. So starting every week, starting now, every Monday and Wednesday, I'm gonna be making more balloon animal videos. Starting with this one. And to make penance for not having a video in forever, I'm gonna make balloon animals using grocery store balloons. These are awful. It's gonna be awful for fun for you. Let's try it. Gotta love that packaging, by the way. Look at this. Comes with its own pump. Cardboard. Always an indicator of high quality. Can you hear that? That there already is worth the $1.50 I paid. Let's see if the pump can blow up one of these sad balloons, which are already like see-through. Let's start with green. Well, it does pump. I was expecting to do that already. Uh, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. I was just pumping it. No wonder you guys have difficulty. If these are the balloons you're using. All right, let's try this again. That was loud. All right, that should be enough, I think. I think these are narrower than regular balloons and that is really tight. Let's air out. Okay, tie knot. <laughs> I'm afraid to squeeze it or to stretch it. Oh, wow, okay, cool. Let's start with like a flower. Okay, so far so good. Oh, that means I gotta make like six petals out of another one. Let's see, a purple flower. I wonder if these things would be hard to blow up with your mouth. I feel like you should be wearing protective eye gear. Eh, not too bad. Don't pop, don't pop, don't pop. Oh man, these things feel like they're made out of tissue paper. Okay, let's put this in there gently. Okay. Give it a bend. There we go. Well, I was able to make one flower out of them. Although they do feel like they're about to rupture at any moment. I'm afraid to put it down. Maybe a dog? That's pretty common. A happy yellow dog. Here's a tiny little pump. This would take forever. All right, now I'm gonna treat this like I normally treat a balloon. No kid hands. Hey, in a pop. Okay, I'm a little impressed now. The first one, maybe that was just a fluke. I mean, all balloons kind of pop. Got a happy, yellow, glow-in-the-dark looking dog. Woof! Doesn't jump very far though. All right, what about some other balloon tricks? Can I like pop a bubble off of one? And try that. I doubt it. Oh, it came off. That wasn't terrible. See, it's in there. I'm supposed to like shoot it out, but it didn't. <laughs> These do not blow up easy. So well, there you go, now it pops on me. But right, I got my little ball. I'm gonna try to put it in the other one now. I wonder if these are the same length. We should measure them, maybe later. Okay, I think yellow is the most transparent. I don't know. Let's see if we can see the pink one inside the yellow one. These things are like covered in powder. All right, there we go. Well, it's not terribly transparent, but it's in there. And that actually worked. Who knew? Make another dog real quick. And there we go, one dog that ate a ball. Okay, so these, they're not as terrible as I thought they were going to be. I mean, for buck 50, still doing a pinch, but you ain't making much with only four colors. Let me try the orange one. I haven't tried that one yet. Was that pink again? I thought that was, okay, it looks like pink, but that one was the orange one. So that's confusing. All right, I'm gonna try to see if I can do a one-handed dog. This is really tough on the balloon and my hand. Okay, so my hand gave up before the balloon did. That's okay. Never have too many dogs. Give it a nice pinch twist. Poodle tail, not a pinch twist. What did I say that for? I don't know. There we go. Okay, another dog. Well, okay, so I had expectations that these things would just like fall apart and pop whenever I put any air into them, but I guess they're doing, ooh, okay. But they're like halfway between like a 160 and a 260, that is strange. Let me show you what I mean. Like this is a 160 that I normally use, and this is a 260. Now let me blow up one of these guys here. Once again, I'm gonna grab the one that looks orange. So it Clark blows up to me. I still think that looks, well that one looks more orange than the other one did. Okay, whatever. So you can see how like that one there is like, th this is the regular 260. It's thicker than this one is, but that one's thicker than a 160. It's like we got like a one and a half 60, which is strange. It also looks very faded compared to the other orange balloons I have. Oh well. Uh, okay, so if I had to give it a grade, I'd give it like a B because it'll work, but it's not really preferable. And also, you know, like a buck 50 for, how many balloons did this come with? 22 balloons. That's like 
I guess it's about average. No, actually it wasn't a buck fifty, it was three ninety nine. I remember it wrong. Okay, so then it's like more than 10 cents a balloon, so that's a little high. But it came with a pump, a pump that will take forever to pump anything up, especially a 350. I wonder if this will even work. <laughs> I don't think it will, will work. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm, I'm burning. I'm off to the races now. I had to build a really big thing. This would take me a week and a half. Even the pump I'm a little bit more impressed with. I wonder if you can open it up. Or is it glued in? Oh, this screws off. Ooh, don't break it, Michael. We'll be out $4. Ooh. So I got some more of these things. Let's see what else I should make. Don't know if I've tried the purple yet. Maybe all I did for the flower, that was right. Let's say purple, yellow, and you know, let's say green. Gotta get them all started just a little bit. Oh, that's tough. I remember store-bought balloons from like the grocery store at Walmart being like awful. But these aren't terrible. They just don't have any good colors. I mean, I don't know how long they would last. For all I know, they deflate like in a day. All right, there we go. Maybe it's off a hat. Okay, so, you know, not as bad as I thought it would be. I guess I'm gonna have to do something else for repentance. If uh, you have an idea of something you want me to try to make up for not making a video in over a year, let me know in the comments below, because I want to make it up to you guys. I do. I'm going to start by making videos every Monday and Wednesday. Balloon Animal Lessons or Instructional videos on Monday, and the Big Challenge videos, the Balloon and Fell videos, on Wednesday. Unless there's a better day of the week you guys want them. Should I move them to a different day? Also, you can let me know in the comments below. Well, that's about it for this time. If you have any questions, you can let me know. If there's something you want to learn or something you want to see me make, you can also let me know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm already over 100,000 subscribers. That happened while I was on vacation, so to speak. I mean, I got my play button right there. It's behind the glare. I don't know if you can see that. This is my play button I got for over 100,000 subscribers. So I'm really happy that you guys stuck around, even though I sort of disappeared. So thank you. See you next time.